With Rex and Ruby wide awake, Brolga decides it's time for the next step in their training. Normally, Joey spend their first six months permanently tucked in mom's pouch. It's a cozy life, but it creates a pressing problem. While the baby's in the mum's pouch, it's actually too young to come onto the ground and go to the toilet. So mum kangaroo sticks her head in the pouch and licks the baby. And that makes the baby go to the toilet, it stimulates the baby, and the baby goes to the toilet in mum's mouth and then to make sure it's all clean and, and hide the evidence that she's carrying a baby, she actually swallows it. It may sound strange, but it's an essential and hygienic solution. Rex and Ruby's real moms are gone, so Broga has to step in. The mother, kangaroo, she uses her tongue, so I can be quite thankful that I'm going to use my finger. And just like I'm doing here, that stimulates the baby to go to the toilet. A baby kangaroo gets very stressed out if it's not taken to the toilet. In the early days of the baby's life, it's natural to be stimulated to go to the toilet. So this is the best way I can do it. Look at that. Just about all done. Hmm? It's a messy business, but there is an upside. The good thing about kangaroo wee is once you, you mop it up like this, it sort of cuts through all the grease and grime on the floor. It's the, it's the cleanest part of the shack. It's a unique form of potty training. Just one of the ingenious solutions kangaroo carers invent to solve the problems faced by their orphans. <laughs> 